Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. My name is Elkio Yusma. I'm an orchid grower from the Netherlands and we are here in my uh, greenhouse because we growers, a few of us uh, growers are making a care on the Dendrobium anosmen and that's how I call it. Uh, the tortilli something, it has a bit of different name and uh, nowadays I believe but it's still for me it's the anosmen so I keep calling it the uh, anosmen. Well, actually, somehow I did uh, mix it up with the Lindley Eye, completely different plant, but uh, uh, um, I don't know why I mixed those names up, uh, but this is all about the announcement, so I apologize in advance if I uh, mess the name up. Before we go any further, I would like to mention the other participants. I will have their names in the screen now. And meanwhile, I'd like to mention that their links to their uh, channels are also in my video description to make it a little bit easier for you guys to uh, check their videos out as well. So we can get as much information about this uh, orchid as you can and uh, hopefully you will uh, grow it well. So uh, therefore it's very nice those uh, care collapse. So let's start uh, by giving my uh, care information. Well, first of all, let's start. Uh, I will have also a link. I didn't uh, have this orchid for that long, for that matter. So therefore, um, I did an unboxing uh, probably two months ago or three. So it's very uh, new in my uh, my arc, uh, main, uh, my orchid collection. And it was uh, coming with buds. And those have been uh, blooming. And they are now done blooming. And you can see there in the back we have three new growths. And uh, those were there already as well, but they were way uh, smaller, so they uh, really take off. Um, very easily, very healthy uh, plant uh, to uh, begin with, and it helps because I like to transfer my orchids into self-watering as soon as possible. And for this one, it wasn't uh, taking much time to uh, get it to grow and uh, start putting on those new roots inside of this uh, new setup. So I have it in my greenhouse, and today it's a very bright day. So you might hear you might hear my uh, ventilators in the background because I need to have some uh, fresh air in. So that's what I'm doing in uh, summer days. I will put uh, the door open over there. Let me show it a little bit better. And I have the van, this one, on full speed to get a little bit of cooler air in because uh, just I just noticed that it's even on the ground here. 30 uh, degrees with a uh, quite a nice uh, humidity but it's a little bit warm so I need to cool it uh, down a little bit I did forget to open the door earlier this day but I have about 60% humidity here and that's what I like for these orchids uh, for all of them I like it around 60 65 and so that's the humidity level that I uh, give it but if I have the door open, I have my humidifier, uh, <laughs> my humidifier uh, shut off because otherwise it will not cop, stop uh, working. As soon as I can close the door again, I will put it on and it will um, put it back to a level uh, of 60, 65. So that's the first uh, part of the care. The rest is uh, basically what I do with my other orchids and I will have a um, chart in screen. I think that makes it a little bit easier. So let's get over the chart that I uh, made to give it a better indication and you can pause it if you want to have a better look at it, what type uh, of fertilizer etc. Uh, basically care I give to my orchids. So you see now the Orchid Saga care chart <laughs> and uh, I have the four seasons there, winter, spring, summer and fall. Then I have the feeding levels and it's now summer, so it's around 80 to up to 150. Uh, the pH in a pot, I try to, uh, no, I'm sorry. The pH of the water when I fertilize is uh, always the same. It's, uh, I like it around 6, 6.3. And um, in, yeah, in summer, I sometimes have partial uh, LED light, so uh, artificial light. But uh, these days I just uh, have enough daylight uh, because it's, uh, it's in summer, so we have quite long days. So I don't use any uh, artificial lamps for, for this arc in particular. 
Uh, I do use a few lamps here and there, but that's uh, for the darker spots inside of the greenhouse and the orchid room. But as you saw, this one is hanging uh, very close to the roof, so it doesn't need uh, more light. And uh, yeah, humidity is around 60, 65, like I said, but it will go up sometimes in summer about 80, 85. And uh, that's because when it's rainy, uh, yeah, when it's, uh, we have a few raining days, then it's getting warmer, the hum humidity will go up. And that happens more in summer, I notice. So therefore that's uh, a little bit higher than for the other seasons, as you can see. So in every three to four months, I give my orchids a little bit of calcium dolomite powder and I put it directly in the reservoir. And this helps to uh, get the, the pH level up again to seven, uh, between 7.0 and 8.0. And that's how I uh, grow my orchids. I do not flush them. So therefore, I uh, need uh, something to keep the pH in the right uh, position, basically. And it took me over a year, uh, one and a half year, to figure out that without flushing, the pH uh, will drop. And most of the times I found it will drop when you start a fresh orchid growing in cell watering, it will start to drop at around five to six months. And so therefore I'm giving them uh, the calcium dolomite powder and that uh, has obviously calcium in it, but also some magnesium. My plants do respond to it uh, very, very well. This one is, uh, like I said, a very new in my collection. So I, this hasn't uh, that uh, calcium yet, but it will have it in around three months. I think then I have it for five months in this setup and then it uh, needs that powder. And my orchids respond very well to it and therefore it saves me quite a lot of time on, uh, on flushing them. And that's basically what I'm doing. My uh, method of growing is cell watering, obviously. So we have a reservoir there and I put a, a little bit of fertilizer in it. So I basically give them, uh, I like to refer to it as a buffet of uh, different types of feed. So I hope they will find what they need because this orchid may need a little bit more calcium and this one a little bit more, more nitrogen, etc. So I never know what they need, obviously. So I try to get everything in there on a low amount. So do not overdo it. So we don't get salt built up. I have a clean pot. I do not flush. I just fill it up. I refresh it uh, at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. It depends on the orchid, of course, how much it drinks and eats. But thereby I keep it fresh, uh, fresh enough to, uh, for the orchids to like it. Uh, I grow uh, for this uh, for about uh, three years now, up to four years. So I think I, uh, at least in my climate, in my care, I know what I'm talking about. That doesn't mean that you uh, uh, should have the same results in your climate, obviously. So don't take it uh, in, a, in a wrong way. Just try to figure out what suits you. But this helps me very much. And uh, especially with the, the, the white thing you see, it's a water meter. So I can see now it has a little bit, let me zoom in. You see that lit, little red point on the top there? That's an indication that it still has water in the reservoir. So I don't need to uh, give it uh, more water yet. So that's very helpful. And you can see they are hanging on the roof. So they are not easy for me to reach. So therefore it's very, uh, very nice to have a water meter so I can see just straight away if they need water or not. They do not need any water, so I only have to enjoy them and uh, watch them. Of, honestly, I do check them for pests, etc. But uh, So yeah, this setup uh, suits me very well. It saves me a heck of a lot of time on watering. So I uh, basically water them once a week, every Wednesday, because it suits my schedule. Uh, and in between, I, I just keep my eye on them. And in between, some of the orchids may uh, have a drop uh, in, in the water uh, level, I should say, so then I need to refill it a little bit. But there's a here and there a few. Most of them uh, take it uh, for a week, uh, what I give them. So that's very, uh, like I said, suits my schedule very, very much. So I will try to uh, get closer uh, to the orchids with my steps. I cannot uh, promise, here, there they are, um, because it's very uh, difficult to get it uh, from the ceiling, but maybe we can have a little look inside of the pot. So let's uh, try and find out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I'm on my on the steps now, 
Uh, I did try it, but I, I cannot get it out because it's, it's, it's reaching the ceiling already. So I, I need then, I will bend this cane and obviously I don't want to do that. But I thought I can now give you a, a look from above and you can see those beautiful, healthy uh, new growths. They're really beautiful and really taking off. And I uh, think we see some roots going inside of the pot there. Some older roots and some newer roots. So yeah, I think this one is really doing well. It's not purple on the leaves. I keep an eye on that because it's very close to the roof. I do have shade netting on it, on my greenhouse to prevent them uh, from getting burned, etc. But always uh, have a look because that, that shade netting is new for me. So I'm not sure how much uh, shady they need. So if I'm uh, keeping an extra eye on them, but so far they, uh, they do really well, I think. So yeah, I think the next time that we do an update on this one, a care collab, I probably have more information. This is just a nice um, idea of how I start growing my orchids in my uh, climate, in my setup, I think. So therefore, I hope it's still useful. Um, but yeah, it's a fairly new plant for me. So uh, therefore, I do not have a lot of history of the plant itself. It's, uh, it's just a beautiful one. And I really like the, like the blooms. And it has a nice fragrance to it as well. So yeah, it's uh, like I said, fairly new. But still, um, you have a general idea of how I uh, get them to grow. And this one is responding beautifully. So uh, I think that was nice to talk about. But of course, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give it a, a thumbs up. That would make me really happy. And of course, if you didn't already, uh, you might consider subscribing to my channel. I, I would really appreciate that as well. So thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at uh, one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye.